Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial number 15 and in this tutorial we'll be discussing water simulation. Okay, for water simulation you need a domain and a fluid. Uh, we're also going to add an obstacle in. It's going. Our obstacle is going to be the cup. Our uh, domain will be this cube. The domain plays the uh, bounding box for our fluid and the fluid we're going to add right now which is going to be add mesh icosphere subdivision of three okay and this will play the role as the uh, water I'm gonna bring it up to this top corner here okay add it up here you don't have to I'm just doing it so I can discuss one more feature okay so there's our uh, domain and our fluid we're gonna I'm gonna go in here and do another layer and uh, build a cup or a bowl add mesh circle Bring it down, extrude, scale, keep going, kind of bring it in, now extrude down into the mesh, and make sure that you close it, extrude, scale, and control the zero, you have to close it or else it won't work, extrude, scale to zero. A to select all and W remove doubles. Okay, I go to solid view, set smooth, add a modifier, subserve. So here's our bowl. I just extruded it and closed it, set it smooth, and added a modifier of subserve. Bring that to level one. Go do it. Okay front uh, side view bring it down to the ground or not the ground but <laughs> the bottom of this okay I'm gonna bring it as close as I can to the uh, this bottom layer here our box is going to rest the uh, water on the bottom of this so if our water is resting here Okay, we just put the ball there and it'll look like it's on the ground. You can add a, a mesh plane, but I'm not going to. And uh, also, you have to do it in the exact order as I'm going to do it. So, select your object that you want the water to come off of. Go into the particles tab and where it says fluid simulation, enable. Okay, and hit obstacle. So, right click. Uh, right click on your uh, object, enable, and then obstacle. Okay. Next, we're going to do, do the water, which is icosphere, and select that. Come into the uh, particles, enable fluid simulation, and this is going to be our fluid by itself. Now we have three initial velocities, and we need to change these around. Go to top view and select this. Okay. If you notice, we selected this, but our our editing uh, keys are over here. We need to bring these back here. How we would do this is go to the edit buttons and where it says under the mesh hit center new. Okay, and that just recentered our uh, I don't know what you call these movers, whatever uh, constraint constraints. And uh, now for our object, go to the uh, particles and motion. And we'll deal with these initial velocities. Okay, go to top view. And if you notice, I've put it back. If we need it to go here, the center of this cup, we need to uh, add an X value and then a Y value. It'll average these two values up and go in between them, okay, to travel here. So, half the power here and half here. And uh, it'll go down by itself because Blender has a built in physics engine. Okay, so I'm going to add a x value of plus 10, a y value of 10. Okay, so our water will travel along here and then splash into this cup. Alright, so we have our cup set as a, an obstacle, our fluid set up as fluid, and now all we need to do is select the box, enable, and this will be our domain. Once you've done the um, domain, you're ready to go. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this, uh, make it bake. So, when you hit domain, okay, and you've done everything else, all you have to do is hit the bake key, bake button. And I'll kind of zoom out so you can see what's going to happen. Hit the bake key, and we'll notice I get a cursor hand, and water starts moving. Okay, we also get this, this here, which is, uh, how long it's going to be taking. Okay, so... While this is doing, I'm going to show you a rendered picture of what this would look like. Okay. Maybe you can see this. Okay, so here's our cup. Uh, we have the water hitting the obstacle and going around. Alright. This water has got a sharp edge because this is where the uh, box was. Alright. And I'll uh, go back into Blender to how far... See how far uh. Okay. We're finished. Okay, so now that we're finished, just like the uh the other mesh which is the fluid now and just move this to another layer. So move the fluid obstacle to another layer and then leave the domain. Okay. Hit all A and you can watch it go into the uh water here. Alright. Got a good splash. Now it looks like it's just going away here. See how it look? It all splashes up, and it looks like it's going away. Don't worry about that. It's just if it looks like it's going away, that's just where it's settling. Okay, so it'll come down and it'll settle right there. Okay, and the last step in this is to make this actually look like water. To make an object look like water, go into the materials. Okay, and it's already added as new, and just make sure this is white. Okay. Uh, bring down the alpha to 0 0.01. Okay, so it'll look like this with 0 0.01 on the alpha. The alpha is right there below the three colors. Okay, add ray mirror. Okay, bring the ray mirror up just a little bit and give it a depth of 7. Okay, ray transparency, bring the next one up and bring it to the 7. Okay. Give a good look at the settings. Alright, so ray mirror, bring this one up, 7, ray transparency, bring this one up, and 7, and turn the alpha to 0 0.01. Alright, now I'm not going to render this because when you render something like this, it would take a long time because of all the, uh, because of the depth of the ray mirrors. You could go and hit the up arrow keys and just kind of find a nice pose and go ahead and render it. Hope you enjoyed.